Hi, penguins and dolphins. Do you see an insect behind me? This is the insect we're going to learn about today. Dragonflies. A dragonfly is an insect. A dragonfly is an insect. It certainly is. Dragonflies have three body parts. Head, thorax, abdomen. Look at their abdomen. Dragonflies have a long, skinny abdomen. Oh, oh look at this. Can dragonflies fly? Dragonflies. Yeah, they can fly. How many wings do they have? One, two, three, four. Wow. And they have two giant compound eyes. They have six legs. Hmm. They're insects. Let's read about dragonflies. And then later with Miss Boyer, you will do some writing about dragonflies. Are you ready? Here's my dragonfly book. There's a dragonfly on the front. Remember, when I read a book, especially a book like this with lots of information, this book's going to tell you all about dragonflies. You have to listen to my words. Let my words go in your ear and into your brain. And remember all the dragonfly facts. Because at the end, I'm going to ask you, do you remember some things from the book? Do you remember some dragonfly facts? Okay, turn your brains on. Dragonflies. Title page, Dragonflies. The author is Emily Green. Dragonflies are insects, but they are not flies. Dragonflies live near water. They live near streams, lakes, and ponds. A dragonfly has a long, skinny abdomen. Dragonflies can be blue, green, yellow, red, and other colors. Some look spotted. Dragonflies have two big compound eyes. They can see all around with their compound eyes. They can see without even moving their head. A dragonfly has six legs. Look carefully, see if you can touch them and count them all. Yep, there's six. But most dragonflies do not walk. They stand and rest on their legs. A dragonfly has big, strong jaws. There's the jaws. I'm going to put it in really close so you can see the jaws. They use their strong jaws to catch and eat small insects. Dragonflies do not bite people. Look at this dragonfly. It's flying and it's trying to catch that mosquito. Dragonflies are kind of like predators. They chase and eat insects. Oh, okay. A dragonfly has four strong wings. Tiny lines called veins cover their wings. Do you see the black lines? Those are called veins. Interesting. Dragonflies rest their, with their wings spread out. Oh, when they're resting, they just leave their wings spread out. Dragonflies can fly as fast as some birds. What? I'll read that again. Dragonflies can fly as fast as as some birds. Dragonflies can hover in place like a helicopter. Say hover. Hover is a new word for some of you. Hover means they just stay in one place. They can fly forwards, they can fly backwards, or they can just stay and fly in one place. Hover. Dragonflies can hover in one place like a helicopter. 
They can f even fly backwards. Then dragonflies must rest. This dragonfly stops to eat an insect it caught. Some people say dragonflies bring good luck. What do you know about dragonflies? The end. Okay, so I read this book about dragonflies. Hmm, think of some dragonfly facts. Do dragonflies eat bananas? Do you remember what they eat? If you forgot, you can rewind and go back in the video and to this page where it says, where is the page where it says, oh, here it is, remember this page? They use their jaws to catch and eat small insects. Oh yeah. Uh, what color are dragonflies? Do you remember that page? See if your brain remembered what it said in this book about the color. Oh, if you forgot, I'll read it. Dragonflies can be blue, green, yellow, red, and other colors. Some even have spots. Oh. Do you remember where they live? They live by something. Do they live by trees? Do they live by the ocean? Dragonflies live by water. They live by streams, lakes, and ponds. I wonder why they like to live by the water. Well, I wonder, why do you think? What likes to go to the water to get a drink? Animals. Do you think mosquitoes like to go to the water to get a drink? Who eats mosquitoes? Dragonflies. Yeah, dragonflies like to stay by the water because that's where a lot of other insects go to drink. And then when the mosquito goes to get a drink, zzz, the dragonfly can come down, just like in that picture, and catch it and eat it. If I can find that picture, of course I can't find it. There it is. See? Yeah. Dragonflies live by water so they can find lots of insects to eat. All right. Now, I'm going to get my paper ready. And we're going to draw a picture of a dragonfly with all the details. So when I say go, push pause, get your journal, and get some color crowns or some color pencils, whatever you do, whatever you use for your coloring on your pictures. Go. All righty. I'm back. I have my paper here. Later, you'll do the writing with Miss Boyer. These are the writing lines, the head line, belt line, foot line. We're not going to color there because that's where we're gonna do our writing. Right now, we're gonna do our coloring up here of a dragonfly, because we just read about dragonflies and we learned about them and how many parts they have and where they live and what they eat. So let's draw all those details. First, I'm gonna draw a dragonfly. You can follow my directions. Make a head, make a thorax. Now we're gonna make an abdomen. What did we learn about a dragonfly's abdomen? They are long and skinny. Remember, long and skinny. Okay, now, uh, how many legs do they have? Six. And the legs don't go on the abdomen, they go on the thorax. And their legs are kind of small. One, two, three, four, five, six, six legs. Oh, they have giant compound eyes to see everywhere. Draw yours. If I go too fast, you can pause. And dragonflies have kind of uh, short antennas. But they have big, strong jaws. Those are kind of hard to draw. There's my jaws. Oh, dragonflies can fly. Do you remember how many wings they have? Four. Two on this side and two on this side. And their wings go on their thorax also. The wings don't go down here or up here. Now their wings are skinny, just like their abdomen. So watch how I do it. I start at the top of the, of the thorax and I go out and back. That's one. Then I do it again, out and back. I did two wings on this side. 
Now let's do two wings on this side. Start on the thorax, out and back, out and back. <clears throat> now here's something tricky from the story that we learned. I don't know if you remember this part, but on their wings, they have something interesting, little black lines called veins. Remember they have veins all over their wings. So I'm gonna do my best to draw veins. Here's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go short, 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 long, long, long. Short, 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 long, long, long. Interesting, you try it. Short, 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 long, long, long. Short, 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 long, long, long. There's my veins, awesome. Now, oh, spiracles. First, I'm going to make the abdomen lines, the lines on the abdomen, and then dot, 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 dot. Those are the spiracles for breathing. Perfect. Now, what color is a dragonfly? You get to color it any color you want because it says here on this page, dragonflies can be blue, green, yellow, red, and other colors. I think I'm gonna make mine kind of a reddish color, but you can kind of pick whatever color you want for your dragonfly. And color it. You don't have to color the wings because remember the wings just have black veins. Here's my dragonfly. Now, that's beautiful, but I need to draw some details. Where do dragonflies live? Do they live on top of a mountain? Do they live by the snow? No, they live by water, by a pond, or a river, or a lake. Here's my water. I'm going to shade my water. This is where the, it lives, by the water. Why does it live by the water? Because that's where a lot of other insects come to drink, and it's a predator. It will eat those insects. Now, it usually flies, but sometimes it rests, and it rests on uh, a plant. Sometimes in water, there's these plants that grow out like this, reeds or grass. Or maybe there's some reeds over here. There's a plant that goes like that, and it has brown on the top. Uh, and it's called a uh, cattail. Yeah. Have you ever seen a cattail like that? I want to make some cattails, plants. They, they're always by lakes and rivers. Um, awesome. Okay, I did some water and some plants. Um, I'm going to draw a tree over here. Maybe there's a tree over here by the lake. There's a big tree. I'll draw that. Yeah, drawing details is awesome. It makes your picture look uh, more interesting. If you just draw a little bit, it looks a little boring. Don't make a boring picture, make it interesting. And some grass over here by the tree. And maybe even some flowers for some other insects, like butterflies might need to go over to these yellow flowers. Awesome. Now, I drew a lot of details, but, oh, I want to draw what the dragonfly likes to eat. So I'm going to get my brown. I'm going to draw, oh, I'm going to pretend that my dragonfly caught an insect, a, dra a, a, a mosquito head, thorax, abdomen, and it's mosquito wings, and it's antennas. Look, my dragonfly is eating a mosquito. You could draw that detail if you want. And the last detail I'm gonna draw is my son. And I'm gonna say, this is a real picture, because that's a real dragonfly. And re real dragonflies really do live by water and really do eat mosquitoes. This is not pretend. Dragonflies are lots of colors. Trees are green and brown, water is blue. But if you want to do one pretend thing, you can do an Eric Kirk.
Carl's son. Remember Eric Carl? He's that author. And a lot of times he makes a face on the sun. You can be like Eric Carl if you want and do a face on your son. And there's my picture of my dragonfly. Finish your picture. I want you to finish your picture and save it because later Ms. Boyer is going to make a video and show you a video about doing writing about dragonflies. Awesome. So keep your picture. And then when you're all done with your writing and your picture of your dragonflies, then I want you to take a movie or a picture of it and send it to me or Ms. Boyer so I can see your beautiful work. Awesome job today, penguins and dolphins. Keep struggling, keep working, and keep having fun. Because I think drawing and writing and learning about new things like insects is fun because it grows your brain. And then you learn new facts. Do you remember what it's called if you are someone who learns all about insects? Entomologist. You are becoming entomologists because you're learning about dragonflies and lots of insects. Good job, super entomologists. Bye.